4 in the morning and an illegality is being exposed by law enforcement officers. These trucks have been impounded for transporting charcoal into Lusaka from Mumbwa, Itejiteji and Shivuyonji, areas that have been banned from producing charcoal to mitigate the effects of climate change. Green Economy and Environment Minister Colin Zinzovu led the inspection exercise. Is the consequences of continuing to use charcoal are severe. Energy insecurity, water insecurity, food insecurity. All of these will worsen if we continue utilizing charcoal. So I thought I should make these comments. This operation will go on. It's not a one-off. Some trucks were found to have valid permits for charcoal production, and this did not sit well with Mr. Nzovu. Because some of these trucks you are seeing here, have, one of the trucks you are seeing here has a valid permit, and that permit was issued after the ban. So I think we want to save, we want to send a very strong warning that he, our officers will be disciplined if they do not um, support the ban. There's a ban on charcoal burning, there's a ban on people logging right now. The minister has warned of further action if the situation does not improve. Further, when we see compliance levels are low, we are looking at ensuring that we come up with more stringent fees and fines. We are also looking at possibilities of, of what you call it, putting the traffic position for fitting the vessels being utilized. For carrying charcoal. We are going to all of those beaches because this trade has to stop. Mr. Nzovu has directed the forestry department to conduct frequent patrols to curb the illegal transportation of charcoal from areas that are banned and prosecute those aiding the culprits. Wilson Melinda, ZNBC News, Lusaka.